Hey guys, so in dealing with rules regarding positive and negative space, usually positive space refers to the main focus or the subject of your picture, while the negative space refers to the background or the alternate subjects of the picture. These are usually differentiated by using black and white colors. Using these bipolar tools can help you balance your composition, putting emphasis on your subject and maybe less emphasis on the surrounding environment. Negative space, however, does not necessarily imply that the space is absent of objects. These objects, however, are in fact designed to support the main subject of your art and help tell your story. Using positive and negative space in its purest black and white form without context can lead tricks of perception and optical illusions. In this first lesson, we are going to focus on identifying subjects using positive and negative space by using their physical attributes in further lessons, we will go into perception, what you think you see, perspective, where you see your subject from, size ratio, impact and focus on the overall composition, perceived motion, and how to use negative and positive space to make a complex composition easier to understand. So what do you use to differentiate one object using negative and positive space from another object of similar nature? Well, that would be determined by your personal knowledge and experience of said subjects. Giving a basic black and white layout, most people would be able to easily identify the difference between an elephant and a giraffe. However, without being given the specifics, would you be able to tell the difference between an Asian elephant and an African elephant? Without scenery context, would you be able to determine the size difference between a greater kudu and a lesser kudu? Without breeze specific, the average person would be hard pressed to know the difference between an Arab horse and a thoroughbred. The following series of exercises is designed to help you pinpoint specific physical attributes of normally easy to identify species and help you analyze how you identify certain animals. With this knowledge, hopefully it will help you in troubleshooting any composition, anatomy, or subject issues you may encounter with your own art down the road. In this first exercise, we are looking to only identify the species of animal, not its perspective or its line of action.